It's never not a lot of work to film the Armenians. Not only because they come in a large and busy team, but also because they spread themselves out. They make it very difficult to catch all of their lifts. And I also think that they do this on purpose, not because they don't want to be filmed, but because they find it quite funny. It's like an inside joke to try and see how much work we will all do to capture their training. They really don't make it easy on us. In this session, we wanted to get as much as possible of three weightlifters in particular, Simon Martirosian, Gore Manassian, and Verazdat Larian. Total world record holder Simon Martirosian is a bulldozer of a weightlifter. With best competition lifts of 199 kilos in the snatch and 240 kilos in the clean and jerk, he's definitely a bit of a Hall of Famer. He's also a two-time world champion. Simon is incredibly strong, but in the way that people who were born strong look, rather than someone who's just trained stupidly hard. When you look at someone like Lu Zhaojun, for example, he looks like a normal person who is just in incredible peak condition. Simon, on the other hand, doesn't look in incredible condition, but his forearms and wrists are large, his ankles are massive, he's just generally pretty thick. He likes to play around with the media, but not in a reciprocal way, more in a one-sided way. Kind of like he's come up with the rules to a game and we don't know what they are, but he's really kind of secretly enjoying playing it. And that could be as simple as not moving for two minutes and then the moment a teammate attempts a big lift and you've been filming them set up for 30 seconds, he just quickly stands up, approaches the barbell and proceeds to lift his top set, forcing you to either miss his lift or acknowledge that you've wasted time on someone else, invoking a sense of sunk cost. But he's always fun to watch because he's so aggressive and brutish. He and generally the majority of the Armenian team are not what you'd describe as technically pretty, except perhaps a newcomer Laliant who we'll get to shortly. Next we have super heavyweight Gore Manassian, who snatched in the wrong era. If it wasn't for Lasha Talakadze making anyone with what is historically recognized as elite at 210 kilos in the snatch as mediocre, or even those who snatch blues with 215 as just simply good, Gore Manassian would regularly be the highlight of a championship's event. In the super heavyweight category throughout history, Gore's snatching is second only to Lasha one of four people to snatch 216 kilos ever, snatching 210 kilos or more five times in competition. And Gore also plays games, but in a more friendly way. He's more interactive with you, he speaks a few more words with you if you engage him, and is generally someone whose space you don't feel at all as though you were invading. But he does do weird things. Like, when I asked him during this session whether he'd snatch heavy, he just said it would be little tiny snatch day, maybe 120. But then he worked up to 190 kilos. And then another day he told me it was big snatch day, and then I think he did around 140 kilos maximum. And I'm guessing he enjoys throwing curveballs, and I'm pretty sure there's some sort of collusion between Gore Manassian and Simone Martirosian setting it up. And as for me or whomever we have filming, it makes the whole thing just a little bit more dynamic and interesting. Finally, we have the young newcomer, the unbelievable Verazdat Lalian. Unbelievable not least because he's one of the few, if not the only, Armenian whose technique would be advantageous to copy. I'm not sure if it's just because he's new to the group, but he's definitely one to play fewer tricks, and in general just seems happy to be being filmed. 
Since first watching him lift at the 2021 European Championships, where he snatched 205 kilos and clean jerk 240 kilos, I said that he'd become one of the best and overtake Gore, and he did. At this World Championships, a week after this training session, he snatched 211 kilos and clean jerked 246 kilos, 12 kilos up on his total from the European Championships. In this session, Simone worked up to 180 kilos in the snatch, 396 pounds, exactly 90% of the 200 kilo world record. Gore and Lallian hit 190 kilos, or 418 pounds. Simon had had a very difficult year. Involved in the war with Azerbaijan, he injured his leg in the act of service. And then after barely coming back to competition health, he wound up in a car accident resulting in the tragic death of a pedestrian. And despite waiting with the initially only injured pedestrian and calling the ambulance, they didn't make it. So he had to deal with all of that, and then two months afterwards he headed to the Olympics to compete, taking silver again just like in 2016 in Rio, and again behind an Uzbek lifter. This time Akbar Duraev rather than Ruslan Nurudinov. The moat of protection that surrounded him, his unparalleled levels of strength, have, over the last few years, begun to leak, creating space for the more technically efficient Uzbeks to lay siege to what was a dominant few years of weightlifting for Simon. The aggression he once used to command the category no longer quite does the job. Still, despite placing third behind them both the week after this competition, they all demonstrated mutual respect hugging and congratulating, or perhaps commiserating, each other's performance. How long Simone continues to compete, I'm unsure, and in many ways it seems unlikely that he can maintain his world dominance, or gain the kilos needed to win the Olympics in 30 months over the steady progress of Akbar Jiraiya. He also needs to contend with the decision of whether to move up to the supers or down to the 102s, because the 109 kilo category, his ideal category, will cease to exist as an Olympic category. Move down and compete with the stronger 96, now 102s, or move up, never beat Lasher, and have to compete with your two heavier Armenian teammates, Gormanassian and Lalian Verazda, who pretty much have the silver and bronze locked up. It would provide Armenia as a country no advantage for Simon to gain weight and move up a category. And yet, I'd like to see it. I have on pretty good authority from someone within the team that this is in fact what Simon plans to do. To move up and compete with the 150 plus kilo big boys. And honestly, I'm happy for that. I believe we've likely seen the best of Simon Martirosian in terms of his competitiveness. And so I'm happy to see what happens when a man born with freakish strength goes on a perma bulk rampage and hits what will likely be the heaviest lifts of his career, even if they are worse by Sinclair. As for Gore and Lalian, they may have to watch their backs.
More from Team Armenia is now available on the Weightlifting House Patreon along with tons of other world's footage. And as we've been mentioning, weightlifting changes forever this April. If you want to learn more, head to the link in the description or search weightliftinghouse.com forward slash secret. Those of you on that mailing list have already received the first clue. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.